This wave was really different for me because it was the only set the entire morning that I don't have like a really vivid memory of like analyzing the set coming in and seeing where might give me an opportunity to maybe catch it. It's like there's a gap of time that I don't remember anything and it was almost like I just blacked out for a period of time. And then what I do remember is just a last second thought of seeing this giant wall standing up as I was turning and just, just knowing like, okay, I think I can make this wave. Once I got a handful of strokes into the wave, I felt this rib kind of come up through the lip and it just lifted my board a tiny bit. And when I felt that lift, I jumped up a little bit further onto the board than I normally would have dropped in at just to try to force the nose back into the wind and get down the face. And while I'm doing that, I was looking up and I could see the lip starting to kind of feather and I could tell I'm going into the barrel here, which is kind of, as soon as I turned around, I knew to make the wave, I'm gonna to have to get into the barrel at some point. And as I got under the lip, it just felt like this big, massive emptiness. I felt like I was in a really good place to make the barrel. I felt like I got high enough and had enough momentum to drive forward even as the barrel started to breathe. And I thought as the barrel started to suck back and fill with spray and whitewash, it just stung my face really, really hard. My eyebrows, my nose, and my lips were stinging from the spit. And I thought that might be, you know, the wave projecting me out with the spit in front of the foam ball, but it had just filled up like a tornado and boom, just completely vaporized. <laughs> Underwater was extremely violent on that one. <laughs> it's like just full tomahawk. And I don't know how because I didn't anticipate falling. I actually thought I was gonna make the wave the entire time until I was underwater. So I don't know how I did, but I did get a really good breath. I remember thinking underwater during the violent tumble, like, oh, I have a really good breath on that fall. So feeling pretty good down here. And it just was really violent. But as the violence started to subside and it was just kind of holding me down and tumbling a little bit less intensely, I felt really good. Like, even though I didn't make it, it's a really special wave for me because of how intense the drop was, what the wind felt like, and so many little nuances that happened before the fall even. Yeah, it would have been awesome to make it, but you know, Jaws, Jaws has the final say on every single wave we ride. If Jaws wants you to make the wave, you're gonna make it, and if Jaws doesn't want you to make it, then you're probably gonna get a big chandelier to the forehead. <laughs>